Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we delve into Dream Big by Bob Goff, a book that serves as a beacon for those seeking to reclaim their forgotten dreams and ambitions. Published in 2020, Dream Big is more than just a motivational read. It's a practical guide to examining our deepest desires, confronting the obstacles that lie in our path, and meticulously planning to achieve our most profound goals. Bob Goff, a lawyer, speaker, and author of New York Times bestsellers like Love Does, Everybody Always, and Love Does for Kids, brings his unique blend of wisdom, experience, and compassion to the forefront. Goff's remarkable journey encompasses not only his professional achievements, but also his philanthropic efforts through Love Does, a nonprofit dedicated to fighting for freedom, human rights, and educational access globally. Who will find Dream Big particularly compelling? This book is catered to a wide audience, from those feeling stuck in an unfulfilling career, relationship, or life path, to individuals searching for the courage to start anew. It's a must-read for anyone eager to reconnect with their dreams and turn them into reality. Join us as we explore how Bob Goff encourages readers to live fully and dream boldly, ensuring that their life doesn't just whisper what it could have been. Dream big. Know what you want, why you want it, and what you're going to do about it. Introduction. Unlock your dreams with unwavering confidence. Are you sailing through life on autopilot, sticking to a job that doesn't spark joy, clinging to relationships that lack passion, or regretting educational paths not taken? Perhaps amidst the hustle of everyday life, your dreams seem like distant, unreachable stars in the night sky. This narrative aims to be the beacon that guides you back to your dreams. It's about understanding the core of what truly motivates you and articulating your ambitions with precision. It's about evaluating your dreams to align them closely with who you are and what you genuinely want out of life. This journey promises a brighter, more hopeful future, one where your dreams aren't just distant wishes but tangible goals within your grasp. In this exploration, you will learn the importance of confronting your current reality with openness and honesty, why chasing after material possessions like a Lamborghini might not fulfill your quest for happiness in the long run. How daring to dream big can open doors to extraordinary achievements. Dreams are not just flights of fancy. They are fuel for our soul, guiding us toward a life that resonates with our most profound desires and aspirations. Reconnecting with your dreams isn't just about reaching for what seems impossible. It's about rediscovering yourself, understanding your deepest motivations, and setting a course toward a life that truly satisfies and excites you. This is your ticket to a future where every step you take is a step closer to the life you've always wanted, a life where dreams are not just imagined, but lived. Part 1. Rediscovering Yourself. The Gateway to Your Dreams. Imagine wandering off your path in life, so far that you end up in unfamiliar territory. Along the way, The dreams that once fueled your passion become distant memories, overtaken by the immediate demands and distractions of daily life. But it doesn't have to end there. The journey back to those dreams and to yourself begins with a crucial step, understanding who you truly are. The essence here is clear. Unearthing your dreams requires an intimate exploration of your identity. Life's tumult, be it an ill-suited career, a misaligned relationship, or the constant hum of financial worries can lead to a disconnection from your true self. It's all too easy to lose sight of who you are amidst the chaos. To reignite your connection with your dreams, it's time to reintroduce yourself to, well, yourself, as though you're old friends who haven't spoken in years. This isn't a quick hello or a passing nod, It demands setting aside time for deep introspective reflection, as significant as any vital commitment, like a health checkup. One author recounts a telling example, a friend who would park outside a dialysis center weekly, not for treatment, 
but as a reminder to treat this self-reflection with the gravity it deserves. Indeed, diving into the depths of your psyche is no light venture. It requires braving the dark alleys of your fears, confronting unsettling truths, and possibly unearthing desires you've long suppressed. You might discover yearnings for a life abroad that you've stifled for comfort's sake, aspirations for higher education held back by financial fears, or even a deeply seated desire to start a family which could necessitate ending a current relationship. To truly understand what drives you, it's essential to delve beneath the surface distractions and noise. Picture your consciousness as a snowy landscape, where truths and desires are buried under layers of snow and ice. Your task is to dig through these layers to uncover the serene ice cave beneath, the core of your being. It is within this sheltered, silent space that you'll reconnect with who you are at your most fundamental level. And from this place of deep understanding and authentic self-awareness, the path to pursuing your dreams becomes not just visible but viable. Part 2. Starting Fresh. The Power of Honesty in Rediscovering Your Path. In a pivotal moment recounted from the Bible, Adam and Eve, after straying from God's instructions, find themselves hiding, overwhelmed by shame. When God calls out, where are you? It's not a question of their physical whereabouts, as they were merely behind a bush, but a deeper inquiry into their spiritual and mental state. This ancient query holds profound relevance for anyone feeling adrift in life today. If you're seeking to reclaim your direction and breathe life back into your dreams, the first step is to earnestly ask yourself, where am I right now? The cornerstone of this journey is honesty, brutal, unflinching honesty about your current situation. Acknowledging where you stand in life is a daunting challenge. Many of us are adrift, unsure of our exact position in the grand scheme of things. But to chart a course to your dreams, you must first recognize your departure point. Summoning the courage to face the truth about where you are can be harrowing. It involves confessing, perhaps to another or to yourself, the realities you may have been denying. Addiction's grasp, the suffocation of an unhappy marriage, the monotony of an unfulfilling job, or the ache of an unformed family. This admission can take place in the privacy of your own company, or perhaps across a table at a coffee shop with a trusted friend. If speaking these truths feels too overwhelming, consider writing them down and sharing them silently with someone who understands. Expressing the raw truth about where you find yourself is a crucial step. Life's harshness and complexity can sometimes cast long shadows over your existence. It's essential, even for the optimists among us, to acknowledge the depths of despair or disorientation you might be experiencing. No matter how distant you may feel from the life you desire, confront that distance with honesty. It's perfectly acceptable to yearn for something different, something more. Once you have confronted your current realities, a subtle yet profound shift begins to occur. The bleak landscape you find yourself in is not a dead end but the starting line of a new journey. This realization that you are not bound by your present circumstances opens up a horizon of possibilities. Recognizing and admitting where you are is not an act of surrender, but a declaration of readiness to move forward. This acknowledgement can rekindle hope and ignite a fresh enthusiasm for the future, setting you on a path from where you are to where you dream to be. Part 3 charting your dreams with clarity and precision. Upon facing the reality of where you stand in your life's journey, it's time to cast your gaze forward, to envision with boldness and honesty where you yearn to be. This moment calls for unbridled ambition, a refusal to self-edit or soften the edges of your deepest desires. If your dream canvas paints a picture of a glistening Lamborghini parked in front of a sun-drenched villa along the French Riviera, Embrace that vision. Dishonesty with oneself is a sure path to future regret. Begin by compiling a dream ledger, a comprehensive inventory of every aspiration that stirs your heart. Fancy designing groundbreaking technology for Tesla, wandering the rugged trails of the Pyrenees, caring for a pet llama, breathing new life into a crumbling abode, or cultivating a spirit of generosity. Scribble these dreams down. 
Yet the journey doesn't end with listing desires. Specificity is your compass to turning these dreams into attainable objectives. Herein lies the essence. Craft your dreams with specificity to transform them into achievable goals. Dig deeper into each aspiration to unveil its tangible form. Consider a dream to be more generous. Without definition, it's a nebulous cloud without rain. Does generosity manifest for you in acts of kindness, dedications of time, or donations of resources? Imagine, perhaps, a desire to alleviate your neighbor's hunger. Here, the fog lifts, revealing a defined ambition, initiating a local food bank to support those in need. Such specificity concretizes the dream, breaking it into achievable segments. However, don't permit this call for specificity to cage your ambitions, nor should you allow self-imposed limitations to curtail your capacity to dream expansively. The seemingly outlandish goal of claiming a Nobel Prize in physics should not be dismissed as fantasy. If the cosmos of physics calls your name, plot your course, step by determined step, toward that pinnacle. The path may be fraught with challenges, possibly insurmountable ones, but with a clear, specified plan, the odds of reaching the stars become markedly higher. As you start to delineate and refine your dreams, the horizon will stretch ever broader before you. Instead of a future mired in stagnation and disillusion, a vibrant landscape emerges, an expanse rich with purpose, vibrantly colored with the hues of your individual dreams and aspirations. Part 4. Choosing Your Dreams Wisely, The Art of Ambition Fetting. Embarking on the journey toward your dreams, you'll find yourself wading through a collection as varied as a curator's treasure trove. Dreams big and small, some shimmering with potential, and others more modest in their appeal. It's time to lay them out, inspect each one, and discern which are worthy of your time, energy, and passion. This process, essential to setting your course, is known as vetting your ambitions. The essence of this exploration is simple. Prioritize and vet your dreams before diving in. Among the mosaic of dreams you've charted, the larger ones undoubtedly stand out, packed with a sense of purpose and significance. However, do not underestimate the value of the smaller goals. Mastering the art of roller skating, for example, may not reshape the world, but it can add a dash of joy and personal achievement that fuels your journey toward more imposing aspirations. As you hone in on a specific dream, pose critical questions to assess its durability and worth. Will this dream hold its value and meaning a decade from now? Will it still resonate in a century? Many dreams, viewed through the lens of time, might lose their luster. Consider the allure of a Lamborghini. Will it stand as a cherished accomplishment in your later years, or merely as an extravagant relic of past desires? Another crucial consideration is the impact of your dream. Does it serve only your aspirations, or does it extend its benefits to others? While self-centered goals are not inherently lacking, dreams that touch the lives of others often carry a deeper, more enduring fulfillment. Reflect on the legacy you wish to leave behind. How do you envision being remembered by those you know, and perhaps even those you don't? This contemplation can guide you toward dreams that not only fulfill personal ambitions, but also contribute to a larger narrative, imbuing your life with meaning and purpose. Finally, scrutinize the feasibility of your dreams. While it's crucial not to abandon dreams simply because they pose challenges, it's equally important to recognize the bounds of possibility. For instance, a voyage around Jupiter, though a grand and stirring idea, remains beyond the reach of current realities. As you sift through your dreams, evaluating their significance, impact, and feasibility, you position yourself to chase after those truly worth pursuing. This discernment paves the way for a journey not just sprinkled with achievements but rich with fulfillment, leaving a trail of impactful and remembered deeds in its wake. Part 5. Overcoming Inner Voices 
the battle against limiting beliefs and fears. Just as you stand on the threshold of pursuing your grandest dreams, a whisper emerges from the shadows of your mind, a voice that undercuts your confidence, telling you you're not smart enough to crack the code of science, not attractive enough to find love, or destined to live in scarcity forever. Despite efforts to suppress it, this inner critic grows more commanding, its words echoing louder and louder until they're all you can hear. To transform your dreams into tangible realities, silence this inner critic is paramount. The first essential step is to identify these limiting beliefs and fears. Unchecked, they can paralyze you, making a permanent resident in your realm of what-ifs. Perhaps you enter every business pitch with a shadow of self-doubt, or harbor a quiet resignation that it's too late to follow a long-cherished ambition. Recognizing these fears is crucial. The journey gets more challenging from here. It requires introspection to unearth the roots of these self-limiting beliefs. Often, they are not organically yours, but have been unknowingly inherited from figures in your past, perhaps a disparaging teacher, a critical parent, a schoolyard nemesis, or a disparaging partner. Their words or actions, possibly from years ago, have sown seeds of hesitation or self-doubt within you. Sometimes the most restrictive beliefs come not from one singular source, but are an amalgam of many, morphing into an overwhelming force of negativity. At times, what's perceived as limiting belief or fear was initially imparted as well-intended advice. For instance, the author reflects on how his father warned him of the pervasive presence of rattlesnakes under every log in the Sierra Nevada mountains, advised to always leap over logs to avoid potential snake bites. He now finds himself instinctively jumping over not just logs, but even harmless twigs on the trail, despite never encountering a single rattlesnake. This anecdote illustrates how fear, even when based on cautionary advice, can morph into an overarching, limiting belief. To move beyond these constraints, it's vital to pinpoint and acknowledge them, not as inherent flaws within yourself, but as external beliefs that have latched onto your psyche. Recognizing that the issue lies with the belief and not your capability or worth is a liberating step. By doing so, you prepare to shed these inhibitions, stepping into a lighter, freer version of yourself, one fully equipped and eager to chase after your dreams with newfound conviction. Part 6 Dare to dream big, the courage to act on your dreams. After carefully pruning your garden of dreams to spotlight those that truly matter, the time for action arrives. Dreams, after all, require more than just imagination. They demand a bold leap into the unknown. Those initial steps might be daunting and filled with setbacks, but moving forward with boldness and perseverance is crucial. Here's the essence. Be bold and persistent as you chase your dreams and seek out opportunities. Embrace audacity in your quest. This might mean reaching out for guidance from those who've already achieved what you aspire to. Imagine you're an aspiring novelist, seeking wisdom on making your first mark. Take a leap, email your literary hero. The worst outcome? Silence or a polite refusal. But consider the alternative letting the opportunity slip away without even trying, which is undoubtedly a greater loss. When you do seek advice, make sure you're ready. If someone takes time from their schedule to engage with you, whether through reading your email or answering your call, respect their time. Skip the fanfare. Don't waste precious moments on small talk or veer off topic. Ask specific, relevant questions that can offer you actionable advice. And if your attempts seem to falter, no reply, no acknowledgement, don't let it dishearten you. Persist. Consider the author's humorous yet poignant example. Annually, he writes to the Pope requesting a meeting, only to be rebuffed each time by an assistant bishop. While his efforts may seem quixotic, they underscore a vital principle. Those with grand ambitions are not deterred by long odds. They persist in the face of improbability. A testament to where such persistence can lead is the story of Ryan Graves. 
Once adrift in a sea of unfulfilling jobs, Graves spotted a tweet from a fledgling startup seeking business advice. He shot back, here's a tip, email me. That startup was Uber, and Graves didn't just land a job, he soared to the position of CEO. This narrative exemplifies the transformative power of seizing opportunities, no matter how slim the chances. In the pursuit of your dreams, embodying audacity and perseverance can unlock doors you never imagined. While the journey may be fraught with challenges, the fusion of bold action and unwavering determination sets the stage for extraordinary accomplishments. Final Summary In the heart of this narrative lies a powerful call to action. Rediscover the art of dreaming by delving deep into your inner self. The journey to achieving your dreams is multifaceted and begins with a candid exploration of who you are and the forces that drive you. Such introspection requires unwavering honesty and the courage to face your reality, no matter how daunting it may appear. As you peel back the layers of your life, clarity emerges, allowing you to articulate precisely what it is you aspire to achieve. This process of self-reflection and dream assessment is crucial. It helps distinguish between fleeting whims and those dreams that hold true significance. Embrace the possibility of greatness, but also be pragmatic. Evaluate the viability of your dreams against the backdrop of your life and capabilities. Yet, the pursuit of dreams is not for the faint-hearted. It challenges you to cast aside any fears and limiting beliefs that may have anchored you to complacency. Dreaming big requires a bold spirit and a resilience that refuses to be cowed by past inhibitions or societal expectations. In essence, this narrative is an invitation to step beyond the boundaries of your current existence, to rekindle the flames of ambition that may have dimmed over time. It's an encouragement to venture forth with a clear vision, fortified by self-knowledge and an unwavering belief in your ability to achieve the extraordinary. Through this transformative journey, you'll find not just the pathway to your dreams, but also a deeper, more fulfilling connection with yourself. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then. Happy reading and happy listening.